Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about Locksport. What's Locksport? Well, simply put, it's lock picking for fun and education. Now, a lot of people get kind of freak out. Oh my god, you're learning crime. But it's absolutely not like that. In the real world, nearly all burglary uses destructive entry like a hammer or a crowbar or bypass techniques like sliding a thin piece of plastic next to the door to move the bolt. One of my favorite channels, The Lockpicking Lawyer, focuses on all the different ways that locks can be opened, destructive and non-destructive. But most of the time in lock sport, we focus on non-destructive entry, treating locks like fun little puzzles to be solved with small tools. When locksport enthusiasts figure out what works best, manufacturers make better locks to keep the real bad guys out. The same principle of penetration testing where good people try the same techniques that bad ones employ is also used in software. Many of the same principles that are used in physical locks are also used in how we skewer our data. For instance, a lock with more pins is more secure, just like a password with more characters is more secure. But just because you have a very complex password of, or key, if it's part of a weak system, that complexity does not need to be solved. You can just to go around it. Locksport is an effective and fun introduction to basic information security concepts. For me, I also have very, very poor menu um, dexterity and spatial skills. I did not grow up playing with Legos or anything. So while I do a lot of DIY, I'm not actually that good with my hands. And I found that Locksport really does a lot of help to improve that. Before we get started there, um, there are a few rules that go with lock picking. Rule number one. Never pick a lock that you don't own or do not have permission to pick. Rule number two, do not pick locks that you rely on or that in use. Rule number three, don't break any local laws. Now, to start with, you should understand I'm actually pretty terrible at picking locks, but it doesn't matter since I just do it for fun and so long as I get a tiny bit better than I was last time, I'm happy. I only compete against myself, but compared to all the real lock picking people on YouTube, my skills are a bit of a joke, so I won't go too far trying to teach techniques. Um, I'm just giving you a beginner's perspective. So today we are going to start from the very basics. A uh, small beginner's kit from Gearbest, it costs about $11. Now, they call um, this clear plastic pet lock a practice lock. It's not. It's just a visual aid. This is so you see and understand how the lock works. In lock picking, it's about touch. Once you know how the lock works, you have to do everything by feel. So you need to practice by feel as soon as you can or you learn bad habits. Also, these locks are made of acrylic, which quickly gets destroyed by the picking process. Also, the tolerance are not very good, so they're too easy to pick and give bad habits. But when you first bite it, yes, pick your transparent lock a few times so you understand what the process is and how the lock picks work. Here, watch. Okay, now I'm going to use a hook pick. I'll apply medium tension to the fifth and fourth pin up to the shear line. See how they move too easily. Boom. But as I said, this is meaningless as practice. It's just to get a picture in your mind so that your hands, your fingers can follow later. So how to practice properly? Just go out and buy some locks and get to work? Probably not. 
Fortunately, they sell practice locks where you can set the number of pins starting from 1 and going up to 7. Then you can add more complicated types of pins like mushrooms, spools, and serrated pins. But we won't get into that today. There's a technique called raking. That's when you quickly move the pick over the pins. It's kind of like breaking a password by flowing a bunch of random numbers that did really fast. The rake bounces the pins around and a lot of the time, they bounce into just the right place and the lock opens. It's a good way to initially try to open a lock, but it's really hard on practice locks and I don't want to wear mine out. Raking is of course a skill you need to learn though. I just like to focus on single pin picking most of the time. Here are two practice locks. The automate adversary practice lock and the easy Ricky practice lock. Here, let me show you. Cool, right? <laughs> Not really. If I slide it open, you see there are only two pins in there. This is actually really fun for parties because you can pass the lock around and almost anybody can open it and get a feel for things. You can pass it around and if everyone can do two pins, you add a third. It's a good way to get people interested in security and DIY who might otherwise not care. But what if you can't get your hands on a practice lock or they're too expensive? Well, you can save a bit by making your own. Here's how. If you don't want to buy a practice lock, you can actually make them for yourself. Uh, you can buy chip locks like this. Uh, just make sure there's a sliding thing on the top so that you can dump out the pins and go through them and maybe change it to different orders. I already have one pin in this one. I'm going to dump out the pins in this one and make sure there's only two pins in here. Now I'm going to put this lock in the wise. Then I'm going to put my thumb, try to slide up. This video is sponsored by Creality 3D, makers of the End of 3 3D printer. Check the description box for more info. So, what about, you know, real lock picking? Well, what I do is I focus on cheap wafer locks, looks like this. This kind of locks are used to skewer 
cabinet, drawer, desk drawers, and small lock boxes. Being able to open those quickly without damaging them is something you can learn to do consistently in just a few hours. And if you ever really need your lock picking skills in the real world, those are probably the sort of locks that will be most useful opened. That's it for today. If you check the description box, I have links to the Gearbest lockpick set and all the products I talked about today. If you are interested in locksport and security and rely another video, please let me know in the comment section. Please subscribe and remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.